Have you ever had someone warn you about something? It could be a friend, family member, anybody, a stranger. They warn you about something. They um, will say, um, let's say it's a trip you're trying to go on. And the person will say, well, I had a dream last night that uh, something really bad happened. So just be careful, head it to wherever you're trying to go. And, you know, sometimes a lot of us will just brush it off. Man, you don't know what you're talking about. And then it actually comes to pass. Or someone warns you about your partner. Hey, I don't know about this person. I think this person is trying to set you up, maybe to hurt you or harm you. And then they just ignore it. You're just jealous. You just want that person for yourself. And then it comes to pass. Um, the universe works in very mysterious ways. And God has a way of moving through people to get a message to you. So always pay attention. So um, really quick, I want to read something. Life is filled with warnings. Warnings are given that we may avoid disaster. We're warned against bad choices and their bad consequences. We either heed the warning or ignore it. Usually, we ignore it and then something bad happens and like, I wish I would have, you know, listened or whatever. So, warnings are given in advance of our meeting the bad consequences from bad choices in order to give us a chance to change our choices and avoid the bad consequences and experience good consequences things that are bad for our health have warning labels you know you're not supposed to be drinking alcohol i understand you're very unhappy but you know drowning yourself in alcohol is not good for your health so you shouldn't be doing it take it to god but i just want to cut and say that um but yeah Things that are bad for our health have warning labels on them, but that doesn't stop people from consuming them. Highway, highway signs have uh, like signs of warnings or danger ahead and advise us to slow down. These warnings are ignored by many, and then we end up in accidents. Our conscience warns us in advance of wrong thoughts and actions. People who ignore warnings say they'll chance it and take the risk. They think the warnings might be wrong, that it doesn't apply to them, and maybe the person who gave the warning didn't understand the danger. A warning gives us time to prepare, and we will prepare if we believe the warning. We, do not, we don't heed the voice of warnings because it turns us from our pleasure and satisfies state to address by faith something that has yet to become a reality. We may ignore storm warnings, and be fortunate to escape any harm, but will not escape God's judgment if we ignore his warnings. So, whew, pay attention. Um, if God is trying to get your attention, pay attention. I, You got the enemy and you got God's voice. You got the enemy's voice, you got God's voice. So, if someone comes into your life, they're trying to help you, they're warning you, they're trying to wake you up, or if you hear a song on the radio or you see a sign or whatever the situation, pay attention. God has a way of trying to help you before destruction comes. If God tells you to stop bothering somebody, stop bullying them, stop sending them negative energy or whatever you're doing, I would pay attention. I would, you know, listen because God's judgment is bigger and um, a lot of people are just not listening. So really quick message. Um, I did not mean for it to be four minutes. Um, but yeah, if you come across this video, it was meant for you to see. And I hope you receive this message with love. And I'll see you in the next video.